My name is Wolverine. I'm the best there is at what I do. But what I do isn't very nice. Carbon scoring here. Looks like you boys have seen a lot of action. Hey guys, welcome back to Carbon Scoring, your home for action figures and comic history. We're tackling the definitive list of Wolverine figures, because we all know they're pretty unlikely to make any new ones in the future. We're not just going to show you the top 10 Wolverine figures, though. We're going to give you a little backstory on why each is deserving to make the list. And before we finish, we're going to look at the worst Wolverine figures ever, which includes possibly the most horrific action figure ever produced. So let us know what you think. If you agree or disagree, and tell me what I got wrong. And don't forget to subscribe. It's how we grow the channel, and let's face it, there's no place you'd rather be. Now, let's hit the list. No better place to start than the beginning, so in the 10 spot is the first appearance Wolverine. Now every good fanboy knows that Wolvie's true first appearance was in the final panel of Incredible Hulk issue 180. But it's Hulk 181 that all comic fans desire. We've gotten several versions of John Romita Sr. and Herb Trimpey's original design. The Diamond Select figure has the claws as just attached to the gloves as they were first depicted. And the Marvel Legends figure from 2006 gives us those sweet whiskers. But nobody put it together like the Hasbro 80 year anniversary 2-pack figure that came with the Hulk. This figure captured the ferociousness of Wolvie's first appearance. And they finally got the mask perfect, with the eyes visible just as they appeared in the book. Dropping in at number 9 is Wolverine as Patch. After the fall of the mutant storyline, the X-Men were presumed to be dead, but instead were operating out of the Australian Outback. Which was unfortunate, as Wolverine was scheduled to get his own title a few months later. What could Marvel do but create a new secret identity for Wolverine? And since this was already taken, they went with this, and nobody was the wiser. It was awesome in its own stupidness. Wolvie would wear a patch by day, and like a glued-on fishnet stocking by night? Never mind the fact that he's still 5'3 with claws coming out of his arms and the world's most unique hairstyle. No, I appreciate Hasbro including this on their retro card back series. And for letting us know it's actually Wolverine in disguise. Number 8 is the Mafex Wolverine. Writer Chris Claremont and artist Frank Miller conceived of the idea of Wolverine as a failed samurai while sharing a rental car leaving the San Diego Comic-Con. That car ride conversation led to the first Wolverine miniseries, which fleshed out the character from his history as a one-dimensional rage monster to a man of honor, but trapped by failure. It makes sense that a character with such deep ties to Japan would have one of his best action figures come from the land of the rising sun. This figure provides the perfect blend of comic book styling with hyper-posable articulation. As an import, you're going to pay a premium for this, but the style and design are worth it. Sulking in at 7 is Old Man Logan. Not everybody gets a happy ending, and such was the case for Wolverine in Mark Miller and Steve McNiven's Old Man Logan. After the fall of the heroes, Logan vows he has popped his claws for the final time when a blind Hawkeye convinces him to go on a cross-country mission in Spidey's old beach buggy in order to pay his debts to the Hulk gang. But when he arrived back with the rent just a little too late and found his family murdered, the claws came out and Wolverine went about seeking his revenge, ending it where it started with the Hulk himself. That book had some dark stuff, man, and this figure really embodies that vibe, all the way down to his tattered duster. He came as part of a two-pack of figures with Old Man Hawkeye, but this is one Wolverine figure I wouldn't turn my back on. Jumping in at number six is the first Wolverine figure ever produced from Mattel's Secret Wars line. The Secret Wars comic was created to support Mattel's upcoming toy line, and it pitted Marvel's greatest heroes against their greatest foes. For 11-year-old me, it was my first exposure to the X-Men, and seeing their star character on the shelves alongside Spidey and Cap was too good to be true. I have the more common Silver Clawed version, but you can score a pretty penny on eBay if you have the more rare Black Claws. 
If you're a follower of this channel, and again, why wouldn't you be? You know how much I love it when a figure represents a specific artist's work, and I've always felt this figure has strong Dave Cockrum influences in the mask and eyes. Everybody's got to start somewhere, and this was a great start for Wolvie. We're into the top five, and it is nothing but smoke from here on in, starting with Weapon X. Before the full origin of Wolverine was told, there was the 1988 story of Weapon X, written and drawn by Barry Windsor Smith. It was originally published as a 13-part series in the weekly anthology book Marvel Comics Presents, and it gave the history of how Wolvie received his adamantium skeleton and was programmed as the perfect killing machine. This 2009 figure from Hasbro's Caliban Wave captures BWS's intricate line detail. The helmet mask and circuitry in particular are true to his finely detailed artwork. It would be another decade before we learned all of Logan's origin, but Weapon X left us hungry for more. In at number four is the Hugh Jackman Wolverine. Australian up-and-coming star Dugray Scott was originally cast to play Wolverine in the first X-Men film, but Tom Cruise blocked him from leaving the set of MI2, and the role of a lifetime went to another unknown Aussie, and things worked out okay. But what you have to wonder is, is this guy actually the X-Men's greatest villain? What I do know is that this is the best screen representation of Wolvie ever molded in plastic. It comes with bone claws as well as metal ones, and multiple head sculpts for different facial expressions. You done good by us fans, Hugh Jackman. You done good. Bet you didn't see this coming in the top three. The House of M Wolverine. 2005's House of M storyline saw the Marvel Universe reimagined as a world ruled by mutants, with the Scarlet Witch reshaping reality and granting everyone their greatest wish. For Logan, this meant regaining the memories of his past life before the Weapon X program. He woke as a member of S.H.I.E.L.D., but as the only person who remembered the world before the House of M, he had to give up his dreams to make things right. Toy Biz released this figure in the 2005 Marvel Legends X-Men spin-off line as Air Strike Wolverine, but it perfectly captures the completely original costume he wore in the miniseries. Combining play features, such as a missile-firing jetpack, with precision sculpting down to his stubble, this figure goes above and beyond and deserves its spot as number three on our list. Before we get to our top two figures, let's take a peek at our not honorable mentions. I think we always need to remember that Toy Biz was in the business of making toys, not collector's items for us fans. Even still, they're stretching it with a few of these. Hasbro isn't innocent either. This guy looks like he's been standing in the Blackbird's jet exhaust. And the head sculpt for this Ultimate Wolverine is ultimately terrible. But the creme de la creme of horrible Wolvie figures goes to the Mystique from the first X-Men movie. The idea was that she could change shape, right? So she came with the rubbery Wolverine disguise that went over the regular figure, and the results were horrifying. Let's just move on to the top two, shall we? Oh, so close. Number two, Tiger Stripe Wolverine. There have been a lot of Tiger Stripe Wolverine figures. And who can blame them? It's basically his original look, and he continues to come back to it. Even figures that I love, like the Astonishing X-Men Wolverine, are basically knockoffs of the original. So how do you decide amongst all these choices? Well, Hasbro made it pretty easy. Their latest version of the yellow costume from the Apocalypse Wave in 2018 is everything you could want. Detailed sculpting, functional articulation, and all at a price point far superior to the imports. I dare say this is the perfect Tiger Stripe Wolvie. Until they come out with the next one. The one you've been waiting for. Nostalgia wins. It's the Brown Suit Wolverine. I've already admitted that Wolvie was in this brown costume when I was first introduced to the character. And again, fellow carbon scorers know how much I love the art of John Byrne, who introduced this costume in Uncanny X-Men 139. This Wolverine is a little more mature, more sure of himself, not as likely to go off in a berserker rage, 
and the head sculpt shows it. Fierce, but controlled. Yeah, that's it. That's my favorite Wolverine figure. So what do you think? Did I get it right? Let me know in the comments. And as always, click subscribe and join us next time at Carbon Scoring.